is a temple, and we are here to worship the gods of comedy and tragedy. Tonight, I am pleased to announce a comedy. A comedy. We shall employ every device we know in our desire to divert you. Something familiar, something peculiar, something for everyone, a comedy tonight. Something appealing, something appalling, something for everyone, a comedy tonight. Nothing for kings, nothing with crowns. Bring on the lovers, liars, and clowns. All situations, new complications. Nothing for tenders of polite. For to tomorrow, carry tonight. For everyone a comedy tonight Something appealing, something appalling Something for everyone a comedy tonight Something convulsive, ha! something repulsive, Love! something for everyone a comedy tonight. Something aesthetic, something frenetic, something for everyone a comedy tonight. Nothing with gods, nothing with fate. Weighty affairs will just have to wait. Nothing that's formal, nothing that's normal. No recitations to recite. Open up the curtain. Comedy tonight. It all takes place on a street in Rome, around and about these three houses. Befuddled old man, abroad now in search of his children, stolen in infancy by pirates. Something for everyone, a comedy tonight. Something dramatic, something for everyone, a comedy tonight. Frenzy and frolic, strictly symbolic. Something for everyone, a comedy tonight. of Lycus, a buyer and seller of the flesh of beautiful women. That's for those of you who have absolutely no interest in pirates. Here's the curtain! Finally, 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 the house of Senex, who lives here with his wife and son. Also in the house lives Pseudolus, slave to the sun. Pseudolus is probably my favorite character in the piece. A role of tremendous variety and nuance, and played by an actor of such, let me put it this way, I play the part, anything you ask for comedy tonight. And these are the Proteans, only three, yet they do the work of 30. They are difficult to recognize in the many roles they play. Watch them closely. 
a proud Roman, a patrician Roman, a pretty Roman. <laughs> tantrums and one for queasiness. Ooh, thank you, Hysterium, slave of slaves. I live to grovel. <laughs> Nero, come kiss your mother goodbye. Yes, mother. Slave, <laughs> take that baggage and go before us. You clumsy. Yes, yes. clumsy. Clumsy. Zenex, come away from that house of shame. I was just standing there saying shame, shame, shame. <laughs> the 
Mysterium? Ah, oh, uh, yes, madam. Where is Zulus? Uh, where is he indeed? I have not seen him since he dressed Hero this morning. Tell him that while we are gone, he is to watch over Hero. He is to keep him cheerful, well fed, and far from the opposite sex. My dear, the boy has to learn sometime. And when that time comes, you shall tell him. Yes, dear. What little you know. <laughs> Now, go and fetch the gift we bring my mother. Yes, dear. Good morning, father. Hi, hero. Ah, uh, hero. Your father and I are off to visit my mother in the country. What joy it would be were you to accompany us. But alas, the sight of anyone in good health fills my mother with rage. Ah, there I am. Do you think it will please my mother? Uh, yes, madam, the craftsmanship is superb. And the resemblance? They are frightening. <laughs> <laughs> the time of departure is at hand. Mr. slave in chief, here are my husband's final instructions. In his absence, his entire household is to be in your spotless care. Your word shall be absolute, your authority unquestioned. And furthermore... We are on our way. We are on our way. Yes, Farewell, beloved son. Farewell, thoughtful hysterium. Senex, come along and carry my bust with pride. <laughs> A lesson for you all. Never fall in love during a total eclipse. <laughs> well, to work, to work. Now that I am completely in charge, I'm going to be a very busy slave. <laughs> oh, hero, come away from there. You must never know what goes on in that house. But I do know. You do? Yes. Isn't it amazing? Well, I can't stand here talking. Uh, Shoeless! Shoeless! Now that we're alone, may I tell you, I've been feeling very strange. By the somethings in the air, for as a change is happening to me, I think I know the cause. I hope I know the cause for everything I've heard. There's only one cause it can be. Love, I hear, makes you sigh a lot. Also, love, I hear, leaves you weak. Love, I hear, makes you blush and turns you ashen. He was 
was parading as a citizen. Oh, believe me, master, I was not parading. This is parading. <laughs> I was walking. Come back here. He offered to game with us, and in a matter of moments, he had taken all our money. He was using weighted dice. Oh, he Give back the money. He took nine, me nine. Nine, I took seven. Give them nine. One, two, three, four. I am being cheated out of the money I won fairly. Pseudolus? Seven, eight. What happened to five and six? I'm coming to them. Nine, five, six. <laughs> Come, fellow citizens. Mutter, 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 mutter. I should be whipped gently, but I only did it for money. I thought if I could raise enough, you'd let me buy my freedom from you. Suitless, not again. It's all I think about. I hate being a slave. <laughs> Better a slave than a slave to love. Uh, that's easy for you to love? You? Uh, tell me, master, who is it? Anyone I know? Sometimes you can see her through that window. Through that but A courtesan in the house of Lycus? Mm. Do you know how many mean I a girl like that would cost? And worth every drachma. Your parents would be outraged if they could hear you. I don't care. Oh, Suitless, I would give anything for her. You would? You really love this girl? Oh. I like the way you said that. <laughs> now, you cannot afford to buy this girl, but in spite of that, Suppose that someone, someone of tremendous cunning and guile could arrange for her to be yours? Yes. If that someone could arrange it, what would you give me? Everything. Everything? What do you own? 20 mean eye, a collection of seashells, and me? Right. You don't have to give me the 20 mean eye or the seashells. If I get you that girl, just give me me. Give you you? My freedom. Oh. Suit of this. People don't go about freeing slaves. Be the first. Start a fashion. <laughs> Get me that girl. And if I do, you are free. I am what? Free. Free. Oh, what a word. Oh, what a word. Say it again. Free. I've often thought, I've often dreamed how it would be. And yet I never thought I'd be once more free. But when you come to think of such thing, a man should have the rights that all others. Can you imagine what it will be like when I am? Can you see me? Sing it good and loud, free, like a Roman having rights and like a Roman proud. Can you see me? I can see you. Can you see me as a voter fighting graft and vice? Sing it soft and nice, free. Why, I'll be so conscientious that I may vote twice. Can you see me? Can you see me? When I'm free to be whatever I want to be, think what wonders I'll accomplish then. When the master that I serve is me and just me, can you see me being civilist the citizen? Can you see me being given to me once again? Free! That's it! Free! Yes! Free. Now that's so fast, I didn't think. The way I am, I have a roof three minutes a day. And I don't have to pay a thing. I'm just a slave and everything's free. If I were free, then nothing would be free. And if I reach it now and then, what does it matter? Free. Can you see me? Can you see me as a poet writing poetry? All my verse will be free. A museum will have me pickled for posterity. Can you see me? I can see you. Can you see me as a lover, one of great renown, women falling down? Free? No, but I'll buy the house of Lycus for my house in town. Can you see me? 
Can't you see me? Be you anything from king to baker of cakes. You're a vegetable unless you're free. Such a little word, but oh, the difference it makes. It's the necessary essence of democracy. It's the thing that every slave should have the right to be. And I soon will have the right to buy a slave for me. Can you see him? Well, I'll free him. When a pseudolist can move, the universe shakes. But I'll never move until I'm free. Such a little word, but oh, the difference it makes. I'll be pseudolist, the founder of a family. I'll be pseudolist, the pillar of society. I'll be pseudolist, the man. If I can only be free. Sing it. Free. No, the long way. What a day, what a day. Come out here, eunuch. What do you think you're doing, eunuch? I've told you a thousand times not to fan the girls while they're still wet. Uh, you'll never learn. You'll be a eunuch all your life. What a day. I have to go to the Senate this morning. I'm blackmailing one of the senators. Quickly, your money bag. Good morning, us. I know that sound, and I love it. Is that money? What do you think? How did you come by all this? An unexpected legacy. My uncle Simo, the noted Carthaginian elephant breeder, came to an untimely end. Oh. He was crushed to death on the last day of the mating season. Ooh. <laughs> this morning, I bought my freedom. Congratulations. With this much left over for one gross indulgence. Good. Like as I am now in the market for a lifetime companion. Tell me, have you anything lying about in there? Something to satisfy an Olympian appetite. Hmm. <laughs> Shootless, I have traveled the world in search of beauty, and I can say in all modesty, I have the finest assortment in Rome. Show me. Eunuch! We have a buyer. <laughs> There is merchandise for every need at the house of Marcus Lycus. All my merchandise is guaranteed in the house of Marcus Lycus. For a sense of sensuality, for an opulence thereof. Patronize the house of Marcus Lycus, merchant of love. And now, for your most assured approval and your more than possible purchase, here are the fruits of my search. Behold! Tintinabula. Out of the east, with the face of an idol, the arms of a willow tree, and the pelvis of a camel.
seem disturbed. The proportion. Don't misunderstand me. I love the breadth. It's the length. She may be the right length, but is she right for me? You see what I mean. Isn't she a bit too short? Definitely not. Too tall? No. Like that, you look perfect together. Yes, but how often would we find ourselves in this position? True. <laughs> Perhaps if have we... no need to compromise. <laughs> Consider the Gemini. A matched pair. <laughs> Either one, a divinely assembled woman. Together, an infinite number of mathematical possibilities. a thousand dramas can be played. <laughs> Legis, mm -hmm. could I see you back here for a moment? Mm -hmm. Two hundred mean I for what? Figure it out for yourself. <laughs> yes, it is a fair price by the pound. <laughs> but what disturbs me, frankly, is the upkeep. <laughs> Perhaps you'd have greater success selling her to some fraternal organization. <laughs> a group dedicated to good works. On the other hand. Pseudolus. Yes, darling. Do you want your, do you want your freedom? More than ever. <laughs> May I see the next girl? I'm afraid that's the lot. Surely there's one among these that can satisfy you. Yeah. As yet, I have not seen exactly what I had in mind. Uh, Eunix! Eunix! Get the courtesans out of the sun and into the house. Uh, Eunix's work is never done. I shall return in time to lead you in midday prayers. Suitless, there she is. Oh, you fox. That is the entire lot. Did I not just spy a golden head, a pair of sky blue eyes, a body clad in flowing white? Oh, that one. A recent arrival from Crete, a virgin. A virgin. A virgin. Well? Oh, she was sold only yesterday. Sold? <laughs> Behave yourself. You say she was sold? Yes. To the great Captain Miles Gloriosus, who comes this day to claim her, she cost 500 mini. 500? Oh, a large sum indeed, but being a man of conquest, his heart was set on a virgin. You say she just arrived from Crete? Yes. 
I hope the great captain is kind to her. Mm -hmm. She deserves a bit of affection before... <sighs> tragic, is it not? Oh. What's <laughs> tragic? The news from Crete. What news? Why should I darken your day? Farewell, Lycus. But what is the news? What news? The news from Crete. I heard it. Tragic. So less. You force me to tell you. Crete is ravaged by a great plague. People are dying there by the thousands. But the girl is healthy. She goes smiling through the day. She doesn't. Yes. I thought you knew when they start to smile, the end is near. No! <laughs> yes. I am told it is lovely now in Crete. Everyone lying there, smiling. Oh. Is it contagious? Did you ever see a plague that wasn't? Oh, my other girls. You had best get her out of there. Yes. And then what? Oh, I could look after her until the captain comes. He could. But wouldn't you be... I have already had the plague. Uh, <laughs> I would uh, tell you about it, but... Uh, <laughs> I only hope she lives until the captain gets here. Suitless, I am to be with her? Until the captain gets here. Yes. Wait! Yes? Uh, Brilliant idea! Yes! That's what we have to find, a brilliant idea. <laughs> you must find one. Come this way, my dear Captain. <laughs> ah, 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 don't touch that pillar. <laughs> Philia, there's someone here I want you to meet. This is Sudolus, and you are to stay with him until the captain comes. It won't be long. Sudolus, so, oh, thank you, Sudolus. So if none of my house were appealing to you, there will be some new arrivals soon. And you shall have first choice, because, Sudolus, you are a friend. And you, Lycus, are a gentleman and a procurer. <laughs> oh! <laughs> there they are, together. And I must keep them that way, together, if I am to be free. What to do, what to do. I need help. I'll go to the harbor. There, I may find a way out. I'm off. Oh, uh, the captain. Watch out for him. He may arrive this way, or he may arrive this way. No, no. You watch this way, and you watch this way. Much better. Oh, don't worry. Nothing will happen. He's a virgin, too. <laughs> My name is Philia. Yes. I do not know your name, but you have beautiful legs. <laughs> My name is Hero. And you have beautiful legs, I imagine. I would show them to you, but they are sold. I know. Along with the rest of me. I cost 500 mini. Is that a lot of money? Oh, yes. More than 300? <sighs> Nearly twice as much. Those are the two numbers that mix me up. Three and five. <laughs> Oh, I hope that captain doesn't expect me to do a lot of adding. You can't add. Oh, no. We are taught beauty and grace and no more. I cannot add or spell or anything. I have but one talent. I'm lovely. All I am is lovely. Lovely is the one thing I can do. Radiant as 
between an innocent boy and a you-know-what. Hysterion! There's something you should know about that you-know-what. What? That girl about whom you think the worst is my daughter. Your what? My daughter. You've heard me speak of her. Never? Well, I don't like to talk about her. <laughs> Pseudolus, that girl is not your daughter. My sister. I go tell his parents. Wait! Hysterion, the truth. That girl has been sold to a captain who comes any moment now to claim her. Oh? I go tell his parents. <laughs> I go with you. <laughs> no, no, no. You don't want to be there when I tell them about you. No, I want you to be there when I tell them about you. Tell them what about me? I have nothing to hide. I am a pillar of virtue. I think it might be of interest to the family that their slave in chief, their pillar of virtue, <laughs> has secreted within his con the confines of his cubicle Rome's most extensive and diversified collection of Erotic pottery. Sure as you want. Hero! Tell me, where did you ever get that fruit bowl with the freeze up? Sure as you want. Hero! Hero! Hero, as you know, your mother and father have left me completely in charge of your <laughs> innocence. <coughs> However, I have decided to allow you to remain with the girl until the arrival of her captain. Oh, Philia. Well, now stop doing that. You could hurt each other. <laughs> Master, I said we needed a brilliant idea. Yes. I have been to the harbor, and I have found one. Come along. Are we going somewhere? You are. You have your belongings. Let us fetch yours. Well, where are we to go? Away. Where away? Far away. But my family. My captain. There is only room for two of you. Where? In the tide where there sits a boat, gently dipping its bow. Trim and tidy and built to float. Pretty little picture. Now, put a boy at the star side, leaning out at the rail. Next to him, put a blushy bride, slim and slender and starry eyed. Down below, put a tiny bed. Sun gets pale, sea gets red, and off they sail on the first tide tide. The boat and the bed and the boy and the bride. It's a pretty little picture. Oh my, pretty little picture. How true, pretty little picture. Which I, so little, let's give to you. Feel the roll of the 
playful waves, see the sails as they swell, hear the whips on the galley slaves, make a little picture, well, let it carry your cares away, out of sight, out of mind, past the buoy and through the bay, soon there's nothing but sea and spray, night descends and the moon's aglow, and arms entwined, steam below, and far behind, at the edge of day, the ball of the bell, of the buoy in the bay, the boat and the boy and the bride are away, it's a pretty little picture, to share, as a little boat sail to sea, take a little trip free, as air, have a little freedom on me. of cypress trees, seashells dotting the door. Boy and bride live a life of ease, doing nothing but what they please. And every night when the stars appear, there's nothing more to see or hear, but just the shore where the lovers fly, the sand and the sea and the stars and the sky, and the sound of a soft little satisfied sigh. Things will flow and little families increase. Pretty little picture, no, no. Can you not? As long as the captain has the contract, I must go with him. It is the way of a courtesan. Oh, Venus, why did you bring us together only to part us? Be brave, hero. But for us, there will never be happiness. We will have to learn to be happy without it. Do you believe this? <laughs> have you been listening? And not one word about me or my freedom. She must go with him. Oh, this waiting out here is torture. Why doesn't he just come and take me? In good time, you will be taken, but not here on the street. Inside. You will tell me when he comes? I shall have him knock on the door three times. Is that two and one more? Correct. Three <laughs> times. In, in, in. Suitless woman will happen. Uh, she will go with you. Hero. I am off to the market. <laughs> While you are alone with the girl, remember who you are. <laughs> it is dark. I have yet to begin my daily chores. Hysteriums, before you go. Oh, gee. One last favor. What is it? Let me borrow your book of potions. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That stays <laughs> right here where it belongs. Oh, you there, a bird seller. What have you got in the way of a plump pea? His book of potions and my path to freedom. Now what I need is his potent sleeping potion. A drop or two of that, and the breath stops short. The eyes slam shut. The body hangs limp. I'll give the girl a couple of drops in a beaker of wine. Show Lycus that she has died of the plague. Tell Hero to dispose of the body. Then they to the boat, I to the hills, and you to your homes. <laughs> I just remembered something frightening. I cannot read. <laughs> Hero! Come out here! Call off these pages to me. Not now. Yes, now. Our plan depends on it. Read. Headache potion? No. Fever potion? No. Passion potion? No. Sleeping potion? That's it. The formula. What do we need? The ingredients. The eye of an eel? That we have. The heart of a snail? That we have. A cup of mare's sweat? A cup of mare's sweat? That we have not. Why are you doing this? I intend to give it to the girl asleep. She will go with you. She will? Mare's sweat, mare's sweat, mare's sweat. Where will you find it? Leave that to me. You, go to the harbor, 
Give the boatman your twenty mean eye. Tell him you sail with him this day. I shall prepare the potion. Oh, this is exciting! Isn't it? Go! Mare sweat? Now where am I going to find mare sweat on a balmy day like this? Sodalus! Sodalus! Now oh, he could have taken this to the stone cutters for me. I dropped it. And now the nose has to be resharpened. Hysterium can take it for me. Take me. <laughs> take me. What did you say? Take me. One moment. Here on the streets, if you want, my body is yours. Say it. Say it. Your body is mine. Then take me. Is it not what you want? It has crossed my mind now and then. There is one thing you must know. What is that? Though you have my body, you shall never have my heart. Well, you can't have everything. <laughs> A thousand thanks, whichever one of you did this. Would you believe it? There was a mare sweating not two streets from him. <laughs> Gets to look more like his father every day. Sodalus, hmm? he is here. No. Remember where we stopped. Oh, <laughs> sir, you're back. Yeah, she almost broke it. You returned. Yes. Unexpectedly. Apparently, who is she? I shall await your bidding. Yes, dear. Ever your servant. Never my servant. Yes, sir, your servant, your new maid. We needed someone to help. A new maid? <laughs> she seems very loyal. And very efficient, and very courteous, and very thoughtful. <laughs> Maids like me, I'm neat. I like maids, they're neat. Something no household should be without. Everybody ought to have a maid. Everybody ought to have a maid. Everybody ought to have a working girl. Everybody ought to have a lurking girl to put around the house. Everybody ought to have a maid. Everybody ought to have a maid. Everybody ought to have a meal. Consistently congenial and quieter than a mouse. Oh, oh, wouldn't she be delicious? Tidying up the dishes, neat as a pin. Oh, oh, wouldn't she be delightful? Sweeping out, sleeping in. Everybody ought to have a maid. Everybody ought to have a maid. Someone whom you hire when you're short of help to offer you the sort of help you never get from a spouse. Fluttering up the stairway, shuttering up the windows, cluttering up the bedroom, cluttering up the master, cluttering all around the house. Oh, oh, wouldn't she be delicious, tidying up the dishes, he has a pen. Oh, oh, wouldn't she be delightful, sweeping out, sleeping in. Everybody ought to have a maid. Everybody ought to have a maid. Someone who would fetch you your slipper will be winsome as a whipper will, and graceful as a grouse. Skittering down the hallway, flipping through the parlor, flipping in the pantry, littering up the bedroom, fluttering all around the house. Especially when she's just been traipsing about. Oh, oh, wouldn't, wouldn't she be delightful living in? Giving out. Hey. Everybody ought to have a maid. Tidily collecting bits of paper and strings, appealing in her apron strings, beguiling in her gloves. Pattering through the attic, chattering in the cellar, clattering in the kitchen, flattering in the bedroom, fluttering all around the house. Everybody ought to have a maid. 
Someone who's efficient and reliable, obedient and pliable and quieter than a mouse. Oh, oh, who oh, wouldn't she be so nimble, fiddling with a dimple, mending a gown? Oh, 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 oh wouldn't she be delightful, cleaning up, leaning down? <laughs> Everybody ought to have a maid. Someone who believes he has a bumblebee, and even if the grumblebee as graceful as a grouse. Jiggling in the ante room. Jiggling in the living room. Giggling in the dining room. Wiggling in the other rooms. Puttering all around the house. in the niceties of housework. We'll start in my room. Uh, sure, sir. Your son is in there. <clears throat> oh. Ah. Before my friend and neighbor Erroneous went abroad in search of his children, stolen in infancy by pirates, he asked me to look into his house from time to time. This seems as good a time as any. I'll have a chat with the girl in here. Send her to me. Uh, sir! Yes? Sir, only my great devotion to you allows me to speak so frankly. You trudged quite some way on the road, and I fear the great physical exertion. You? Is that me? <laughs> yes, sir. By heavens, I smell like an overheated horse. <laughs> I must bathe. At least. <laughs> I should never have let the girl in the house. I should never have listened to you. Everything is going to be fine, pussy cat. You, you just see that she gets out of that house. And you just see that he stays in that house. <laughs> Keep calm. 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 Mustn't get excited. <laughs> Calm. Calm. I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm perfectly calm. I'm utterly under control. I haven't a worry where others would hurry. I stroll. I'm calm. I'm cool. I'm a jimmering fool. It's something I'll never become. When thunder is rumbling and others are grumbling, I hum. Slowly and then 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hysteria! <laughs> Scream! <laughs> Lovely new maid. 
New maid? Toodles told me about it. Oh. Presently, my dear. Why did he look at her that way? Why did he look at her that way? Must be my imagination. She's a lovely blue flower. He's just a sprout. Impossible. She's a lovely blooming flower. He's all worn out. Impossible. Just a fancy little mess. Just a man. He's all rest. He's a beamish boy. Father, you can lean on me. Him, him, possible. <laughs> Why did she wave at him that way? Why did she wave at him that way? Could there be an explanation? A handsome lad of twenty, I'm thirty-nine, it's possible. Older men do so much more. In a way, I'm forty-four. Next to him, I'll see him on four. All right, fifteen. Then again, he is my father, I ought to trust. Impossible. Then again, with love and my age, sometimes it's just impossible. Sign a glass of water, please. The situation's fraught, fraughter than I thought. With horrible, impossible possibilities. Toodles! <laughs> Sam, it grieves me to see a boy your age roping about the house. Oh, Sudalist, I want you to take Hero down to the bath. Sir? Of course, sir. Allow me to finish a brew that Master Hero asked me to prepare. Master, I shall meet you in front of the baths of Aqua Salina. You know where it is, next to the harbor. And I shall have a surprise for you. <laughs> of course. Yes. Farewell, father. See you soon, Liz. Well, he to his bath and I to mine. Just the way you like it, sir. No, Stereo, no. one more thing. Yes, sir. I shall need a complete change of garb. Let's see. Bring me the silver with the shiver. Ah, uh, sir, it needs taking in. Yeah, well, take it in and bring it out. Take it in and bring it out. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sir, Liz, what news of the girl? I want to know the worst. Still smiling? <laughs> Laughing. Oh. <laughs> but there may still be some hope. I have prepared a plague potion. If it is not too late, we may yet save her life. Well, then give it to her. Yes! <laughs> I seek the house of Marcus Lycus. Who hates the house of Marcus Lycus? Oh, sir. Who he, who, who? Sir! You're not holding. Who is he who seeks the house of Marcus Lycus? A foot soldier of Captain Miles Gloriosus. <laughs> My captain has dispatched me to inform you that he's half a league away. Prepare to greet him. Uh -huh. Half a league. We only have a moment. I'll give you the potion. Yes, yes. Wait! What? 
Don't leave me. Why not? He's coming. I know he's coming. You speak to him. I'll give her the potion. Wait! What? You can't give him the potion. Why not? You'll catch the plague. No! Oh, I don't want the plague. I've got to give him the potion. Yes! Yes! Wait! What? She's in the house of Senex. Oh, what will we do? Does he know which house is your house? No. This house is your house. Will he believe it? Get the girls. Good. I'll give her the potion. I'll get the girls. Good. Yes! 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 Wait! What is it? I forgot. Like us, we must not lose our heads. Yes! No! Like us, we must remain calm. Oh. You must speak to the captain. I have no talent for bravery. I have your permission, your authorization to represent you. Complete. All right. Collect the courtesans, bring them out, then you are to wait in your house. Solus, I am eternally grateful. I am your friend until death. Go! Yes! 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 Wait! No! <laughs> We seek the house of Marcus Lycus. Who is it seeks the house of Marcus Lycus? Foot soldiers of Captain Miles Gloriosus. He is but a quarter of a league away and bids you honor this. Oh, yes. Of course. You know what this is? Of course I know what this is. This is... Writing. It is yes. your contract with the captain. Mm, and a pretty piece of work. What is this word here? That's like it. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Then you realize whom you're speaking to. Yes, sir. And do you see what it says there? It says words. <laughs> and I intend to stand behind those words. Or my name is not Marcus Lycus. Sudalus. Or my name is not Sudalus Marcus Lycus. <laughs> a moment. I must have a word with my eunuch. Come here, eunuch. <laughs> Call me that. Well, you know it's not true, and I know it's not true, so what do we care what they think? <laughs> Those soldiers, have they come for the girl or the writing and get her? They have not come for the girl. They have come for me. What? Shh. I never told you this hysteria, but years ago I deserted from the army. No. Shh. I was very young. I wanted to be an archer. Instead, they made me a slinger. Then one day, in the heat of battle, I lost my head. I arched when I should have slumped. I had to flee. Now they have found you? Oh, shootles. They are looking for shootles. I have told them that I am likeish. And likeish you are. Rely on me. I must. Hysterium, more bad news. I hope it's good for me. It's terrible. The girl refuses to go with her captain. That is why I have prepared your sleeping potion. You have to give the girl a drop or two in a beaker of wine, and upon hearing me say, present the bride, carry her out in your arm. Trust me, Sue. Trust me. I like us. <laughs> I go. I like us. Bid your captain come. His bride awaits him. Like us quickly, the girls. Yes, eunuchs, quickly, the girls. We shall arrange them informally. Give the place a friendly look. Hurry there. Hurry, 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 hurry. Don't you lower your voice to me. <laughs> you are to obey Sudalus in all things. He represents me. On you, girls. Over here. <laughs> now then, you eunuchs. <laughs> I guess do we really need these eunuchs. Eunuchs, into the house. Oh, we never get to see the soldiers. <laughs> you there. You there. You there. You there. Oh, there's so much of you there. Oh, Spider out.
great captain, please remember who you are and what you stand for. Now, would you all please strike vocational attitudes? <laughs> I should like a mosaic of this scene, an entire wall made up of... The captain! Again, as soon as I am eternally great. In, in, in! Stand aside, everyone. I take large steps. One, two, one, two. We not only fought, but we won, too. <laughs> left, right, left, right. There's none of the enemy left. Right, right, left, 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 right, left, 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 left. Halt! Hail, miles gloriosus. <laughs> you are Marcus Lycus, sir. I am dazzled by your presence. Everyone is. <laughs> Welcome to my house, great captain. Your bride awaits you. My bride. <laughs> my bride, my bride. I've come to claim my bride. Tenderly to crush her against my side. Let haste be made, I cannot be delayed. There are lands to conquer, cities to loot, and peoples to degrade. Look at those arms, look at that chest, look at them. Not to mention the rest, even I am impressed. My bride, my bride, come bring to me my bride. My lust for her no longer can be denied. Convey the news, I have no time to lose. There are towns to plunder, temples to burn, and women to abuse. Look at that foot, look at that heel, mark the magnificent muscles of steel. I am my ideal. I, Miles Gloriosus, I, slaughter of thousands. Subduer of the weak, degrader of the Greek, destroyer of the Turk, must hurry back to work. I feel a glorious man among men. I There are shrines I should be sacking, Ow! ribs I should be cracking, <laughs> eyes to gouge and booty to divide. Bring me my bride. Bring me his Captain, she primps, 
she preens, she wants to be worthy of so great a warrior. Understandable. <laughs> I am a legend in my own time. <laughs> 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 Did she not just come through that door? No. What are you saying, ma'am? The virgin has escaped! Oh, oh no! Oh. The beautiful bride I bargained for! Then this is monstrous! It certainly is! But look at it this way. Since I cannot deliver her to you, you do not have to pay me the 500 minai. I paid you the 500 minai through my agents. Has the money escaped as well? <laughs> there has been a little mistake. I was only joking. Lycus will pay you. Uh, what? I, I was helping out a friend. Allow me, great captain. Come out here. Here is your man. Tell him. Tell him who I am. Everyone knows who you are, Lycus. Uh, well, of course. He is Marcus Lycus. <laughs> no, no, no. He is Lycus. This is his house. Look within, sir. You will find none but hooded men. A holy order. An ancient brotherhood of lepers! <laughs> unclean! Unclean! Bless you, Lycus! <laughs> what now, Lycus? What? I shall tell you what. With axe and pipe, my soldiers shall raise this house to the ground. Our beautiful house. <laughs> and you, you shall receive the maximum punishment. <laughs> Death! <laughs> please, sir, please. May I be allowed a word? A word? One word. And it better be a good one. Oh, it is, sir. What is it? Intermission. Playgoers, you are about to witness the second half of our play. Play, orchestra, play. Permit me to remind you where we were when last you saw us. The Virgin was waiting. That's what they do best. Waiting in the house for her captain to claim her. She has refused to drink the potion on religious grounds. Lycus skulks about the city, searching for Philia. Hero is at the baths, where he sits and soaks. His mother is on her way to the country to visit her mother, a hundred and four years old not one organ in working condition. <laughs> Courtesans, Velas Poliosis and his mighty warriors, Hysteria, 
around the seven hills of Rome. await the maid in my neighbor's house, hopefully about to sow my last oat, if memory serves. Let the play continue! Sir, I... Gag him! And now, I rid Rome of a rascal. Oh! You, sir! The girl must be near at hand. If you kill me, you deprive yourself of seeing a face so fair, a heart so pure, her body so undulating, she is magnificent personified. If you had been born a woman, you would have been she. <laughs> as magnificent as that? Yes, sir. Spare me. I am sure she can be found. You are? Yes, sir. I shall give you a list of 10 or 20 places you might look for her. You shall look for her. Me? With this bad leg. With that bad leg. Yes, it will do it good. <laughs> and where may I deliver the girl? Wait, I mean, here in your house. I know. No. I meant yes, it just came out, no. <laughs> <laughs> and to assure your return, men, you are to go with him. Uh, sir, before I go, a word with my eunuch. Oh, Be brief. Geez. Yes, sir. <laughs> Come here, eunuch. <laughs> Others in the stadium, this is what you must do. Hide the girl on the roof. Why? <laughs> Why not? Go. He is not astray from your sight. Sir, my eunuch is making sure the house is fit to receive so illustrious a visitor. I have been put off enough for one day. Yes, sir. Ready? Ready. Sir, all is ready. There is food and drink within, and the girls will sing and dance for you. <laughs> you are to hound his every step. You have but one hour. Chief have a master in the tub, a house full of courtesans, and a virgin on the roof. Yeah. <laughs> 
Just one hour. Pretending the girl was dead was the perfect plan. If only Philia had taken a single sip, it's still the perfect plan. If I can only find a body, a body. Gusto, Gusto the body snatcher. He owes me a favor. Since sending my husband back to Rome, I have been haunted by the premonition that he is up to something low. Hysterium! Uh, yes, Master. Oh, gee. Mistress, you're home. And parched with thirst, ever thoughtful Hysterium. <laughs> It's a potion. Uh, what sort of potion? Uh, to make you thirsty, and you're already thirsty, so you don't need it. <laughs> oh, thirst is a lesser of my problems. Ah, oh, Hysterium, on the best of intuition, I believe my husband is fouling the nest. No, never. Never? <laughs> Old friend and confidant, you are talking to a woman who faces facts. For over 30 years, I cried myself to sleep, assailed by doubts and fears so great the gods themselves would weep. Whenever I'm gone, I wonder where you'll go. In all your simple honesty, you can't begin to know. Someone young and fair, disporting in every shameless whim, just wait till I get my hands on him and hold him and fold him. Where is he? That dirty old man, where can he be? Saving our vows for all to see, pretending that he's misunderstood. Yes. 
say, I shall bend over backwards to see. That will not be necessary. <laughs> I should love to chat on with him, but I have to find out why my husband was so anxious to return to Rome. Hysterium? When next you see me, I shall be in some form of disguise. If you recognize me, shh, not a word. You, oh, Captain! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Until later, Captain! Whoop! Ah, so did as busy as ever I see you. Yes, madam. She's crap. Yes. What has happened? What hasn't happened? <laughs> All right, what hasn't happened? She didn't find out anything, did she? No. Good. But she will, and she'll kill me. No, she won't. No, she won't. I'll kill myself. I can do it painlessly. If she does it, it will hurt. <laughs> then I must do it. I have besmirched the honor of my family. My father will turn over in his grave. Your father is alive. This will kill him. <laughs> Are you finished? Uh, now listen to me, Hysterium. I have really shocking news. Oh, what is it? You know, Gusto, the body snatcher, he died this morning. No, I saw him only yesterday. Oh, when is he to be buried? They don't know. Someone snatched the body. <laughs> That's a shame. Why, well, why are we crying over a dead body snatcher? Because he could have helped us. He could have lent us a body. A body? A body. <laughs> Hysterium. Would you like everything to be the way it was when you woke up this morning? Oh, in a minute. That's all it will take. Come. Would, in here? In here. Gee, where'd you get the money? <laughs> <laughs> Something smells divine, and it's me. I just took the most luxurious bath. Oh, the oils, the essences. Spectators, I would love to pass amongst you so that each and every one could get a good whiff. <laughs> Feel it! Mustn't shout. I have to save every bit of energy. Feel it! Oh, my dear, you don't have to dust up there. Come to me. I am yours. Uh, yes, dear, but not on the roof. <laughs> Join me in this house. Yes, sir. Oh, where <coughs> is he? If he does not bring me my bride, he shall see me at the full height of my wrath. Oh. <laughs> Philia, Philia. It's time to say farewell. Did not Sulis give you the beaker of wine? My religion forbids the drinking of wine. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, Philia. My captain, I must go to him. I hate him. So do I. And I have a way to make him suffer. Let the captain wed me and woo me. I shall play my part. Let him make his mad passion to me.
No, he, he was in there. He was called to the Senate for an unexpected ovation. Really? Of course. Does he still want me to wait on the roof? Yes. Leave me alone. No. <laughs> wait, in the garden. In the garden? Yes, behind that large clump of myrrh. You will tell me when he comes? Don't we always? Oh, Hero, if only you could buy me from the captain. If Hero has the captain's contract, you will go with him? It shall be arranged into the garden. Come out here! Come on out! You didn't tell me I'd have to be a girl. A dead girl. The captain will see you go on his way and all will be well. No, it won't do. Hysterium, please, we must convince the captain. That I am a beautiful dead girl. Yes. He'll never believe it. He will. You're delicious. Oh, <laughs> then what if he tries to kiss me? He won't kiss you. Now, Hysterium, please just lie on the bench. He'll never believe I'm a girl. Look at me. Just look at me. I can't take my eyes off you. <laughs> You're lovely. Oh. Absolutely lovely. <laughs> to believe the loveliness of you. Oh, no. No, no. I can't even <laughs> Sweet and warm and winsome. Radiant as comes through. No, 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 no. Now Venus will seem tame. Helen and her thousand ships will have to die of shame. You're so lovely, frighteningly lovely. That the world will never seem the same. Now lie down, close your eyes, and think dead thoughts. Good. I'm lovely. <laughs> absolutely lovely. Who'd believe the lovely? Spare me! <laughs> I can't 
cannot control my tears. I must cry. Oh, go ahead, sir. It'll make you feel better. <laughs> sir, now that you've seen her, may I suggest that you depart and torment yourself no longer? I'll dispose of the body. Duel! I will not leave without the comfort of a proper funeral service. <laughs> but, sir, have you time for that? I mean, isn't there a war? Silence! Silence! I insist on conducting a funeral. Yes, sir. We need mourners. We have the... Oh, 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 hold him firmly. Oh, oh, the poor girl. To have died so young without ever having experienced me. <laughs> sir, they will be here presently while we wait. Would you like something to eat? No, thank you. No! <laughs> Her bridal bower becomes a burial bier of bitter bereavement. Very good. <laughs> Can you say Titus the Tailor told ten tall tales to Titania the Titmouse? Do not try to cheer me. I am inconsolable. <laughs> Gather round, handmaidens of sorrow. Sound the flute. Blow the horn. Pluck. The lute, forward born. Crete. What illness? 
The Plague!
saw through my disguise. Yes, beloved. I'm sorry to have mistrusted you, but you have been a little distant these past 29 years. <laughs> yes, beloved. <laughs> Where are you going? Your business, pressing business. Stand at your find me so attractive. <laughs> my daughter! Your what? You wear the ring with the gaggle of geese. Look, I am not your daughter. There she is. Yes. My virgin. I am not a virgin. Those filthy pirates. I am not your daughter. I am not a I, I am an Etruscan dancer. <laughs> Dancing with impatience, oh, my dear. Who is it speak so boldly to my virgin? Your what? She is my maid. No, she is my daughter. She's my virgin. You are not the virgin. Of course not. <laughs> this old man's baby daughter. <laughs> Hysteria! The eunuch. My daughter is eunuch. She's here. <laughs> To my wife. You are married to those, uh, that? <laughs> yes, I am married to, to, to that. And I will thank you to release my slave and remove yourself from in front of my house. Your house? This is the house of life. Hey, look, you can get this girl away. I declare this area under martial law. Release that man. Release that man. What? You, sir. This quivering creature is blameless. It is I, and I alone, who have caused you this grief. Men, unseize him and seize him. <laughs> and now, death by evisceration. Oh, shoes. Come, my friend. Sir, I believe a doomed man is allowed a final request. Yes. Allow me to take my own life. Sir, I have seen kings with less courage. So have I. <laughs> Hysterium, the potion, you know the one I mean. The, the potion? Thank you, old friend. Give the hemlock to Socrates. Which one are you, Socrates? <laughs> oh, give me that. I go to sail on uncharted seas to the harbor, to the harbor from which no mariner returns. Farewell. Kiss me! Kiss me, anybody! I could kill you, you darling. Seize him! Oh, thanks. <laughs> I needed that. Stop that. Oh, great me, ladies gloriosos. I would not reveal my true identity until I could deliver that which I had promised. I am Lycos. Philia, go to the man who bought you. No, no! You? Quiet! We're under martial law! <laughs> Here is the captain, and there is your virgin. And well worth the waiting for. On a great joy of the occasion, forgiveness, you are free. Oh, free to be a slave. I cannot understand. There was the ring. There was the ring with the gaggle of geese. What did you say, old man? The ring! Father! Oh, oh brother! <laughs> Is this many geese a gaggle? Oh. How long have you had this? Well, I've had this since... I don't know when I've had this since. My daughter! Oh. My 
sister. <laughs> now, you listen to me. I Silence! Stand back, everybody! My good old man, I take it that your daughter is freeborn? Oh, without a doubt. Like us! As we all know, the penalty for selling a freeborn citizen is to be trampled to death by a water buffalo in heat. Seize him! <laughs> Careful, I'm a bleeder! Bring out those girls! I told you this was to be a comedy. <laughs> Hello! Mother, father, I wish you married. Son, if you are only as happy as your mother and I, my heart will bleed for you. <laughs> Love is divided, get cold inside. Something for everyone. A comedy tonight. Get some new girls. I get the thing I want to be free, 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 free. Nothing for kings, nothing for crowds, something for lovers, liars, and clowns. What is the moral? Must be a moral. Here is the moral. Tell your friends, tell your relatives, welcome all, God bless you. Yeah.